Welcome to the Amadeus Software Tips and Techniques podcast series. My name is Andrew Beggs and I work with Amadeus Software Limited, experts in SaaS and providers of business intelligence solutions, technical support, instructor-led and online training. Please feel free to visit our website to find more information on this podcast series and other services that we can provide. In the following presentation, we're going to show how the Excel LibName engine can be used to great effect for outputting data to Microsoft Excel. Following an introduction, we'll look at the syntax of the Excel LibName engine and then demonstrate how it can be used before rounding off with a summary. The Excel LibName engine is a SaaS software engine that can be used to access Microsoft Excel for the purpose of reading or writing data. In order to use the engine, the SAS product called SAS Access to PC file formats must be licensed. The engine allows you to create new workbooks or update existing ones by using named ranges. A named range is a block of cells within Excel to which a logical name has been assigned. The technique also allows data to be deleted from an existing worksheet. Once an Excel LibName engine has been assigned, Worksheets and named ranges can be managed from the SAS Explorer window. The syntax of the Excel lib name is as shown. Libref is the logical name to be assigned. Excel specifies that the Excel engine is to be used. File named XLS is the path and name of the Excel file to be accessed. After assigning the Excel lib name, data can be written out to the specified Excel file. If the file does not exist, then it will be created. Each SAS table is written to a separate worksheet. When updating a named range within the Excel file, the output table must first be deleted. This can be done in a number of ways, including PROC data sets or PROC SQL with a delete statement. In order to view or edit the Excel file after it has been written to, the Excel lib name must be cleared otherwise the Excel file will remain locked by SAS. We'll now demonstrate the use of the Excel lib name by running some example programs. In the first example we're going to output some music sales data to an Excel file that doesn't yet exist. Note the Excel libref assignment at the top of the program. A data step is then used to output sales data for England, Scotland and Wales. Note that the data statement lists the output tables as if they were SAS datasets. Each table reference is a two-level name, with the first part referencing the Excel lib name. We'll now submit the code and examine the log. The log shows the number of records output for each country. It also reports that variable attributes such as length and format have not been output to Excel. Opening the Excel file shows that data has been output to three separate worksheets, each named according to the table name specified in the data step. Selecting the Formulas tab, followed by Name Manager, allows us to see the named ranges that have been created for each table. Selecting the name range reveals the address to which it refers. In the next example, we'll update the spreadsheet shown such that the sales data is output to an existing named range called English underscore sales, which starts in cell D3. The following SAS program is used. The first step is to assign the Excel lib name to point at the required Excel file. Then we must delete any existing table from the Excel worksheet. This is being done using PROC datasets with a delete statement referencing the named range of English underscore sales. A data step is then used to write sales data for England to the specified named range. We'll now submit the code and check the log. The log reports that the data has been output successfully. Opening the Excel file shows that the worksheet has been updated as expected. We'll now demonstrate how the SAS Explorer window can be used to manage named ranges and worksheets. First we'll reassign the Excel lib name. 
Selecting the LibRef in the Explorer window results in a list of all named ranges and sheet names present in the Excel workbook. Sheet names have a dollar suffix, whilst named ranges have the same name as the corresponding table. If using sheet names within program code, they must be referred to as name literals, enclosing the name in quotes and following it with the letter N. Named ranges and sheet names can be manipulated in a number of ways from within the SAS Explorer window, including viewing and deleting. In summary, the main benefit of the Excel LibName engine is that it allows data to be written to specific named ranges. This means that data can be output to precise locations within an existing Excel spreadsheet. Currently the only other mechanism for doing this is through Dynamic Data Exchange or DDE, which is a much more complicated approach. Well that concludes the presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope that you found it useful. Please make sure that you check out the rest of this podcast series via our website, through iTunes or on YouTube. We also welcome comments or suggestions for future tips. Please contact us either via email at info at amadeus.co.uk or through our website at www.amadeus.co.uk.